Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, February 14th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I trust the way the cosmos is directing these energies. Trust is a good thing. Trust is a good thing. <laughs> um, even when it's a little bit crazy. And I'd love to ask how you experienced Mars-Pluto. For me, I've seen a lot of grumpiness. I've seen the aggro energies. I've been pretty peaceful and okay in myself, but exhausted. I always forget that something about plutonic colonic energy just knocks me out, wipes me out. And I know there are others who feel this as well. And I feel like it's because sometimes the universe is like, you're in my way. <laughs> Get out of my way so I can do some of this shift work within you. Um, and then you wake up and you have these new ahas and realizations. You're like, oh, okay. So if you're feeling exhausted like me, um, hey, lean back and let the universe do its thing. Now, as of this recording, we are still about six hours off from the peak of this Mars-Pluto conjunction. So there is still time to... Build to the combustion, but oh, what a clever universe it is. Tomorrow, to, well, not tomorrow, today, Wednesday, February 14th, Valentine's Day, we are going to have the moon moving into Taurus, and the moon moving into Taurus is definitely going to be activating this. It is going to square first Pluto and then Mars. The Pluto square comes at 8.22 a.m. Pacific time. The Mars square comes at 8.56 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So you can see, you know, it's only, it's less than half, a, half an hour apart, or right about half an hour apart, um, these energies. So they're very close still. They're very closely engaged. And the song that came through when I looked at these astro energies was How Soon Is Now? And when we have the Aquarius-Taurus squares, there's a lot of challenge between the vision of the future, the excitement of the future, what you can build, and the now, the reality of the now, the grossness, the heaviness, not always gross and heavy, but the grossness and heaviness of the now, or the dullness compared to the excitement of what can be. And so watch for that energy. The phrase that I got is, it's important to see the rainbow through the clouds or the rainbow through the storm in this energy, the rainbow of that future energy, which Aquarius can represent, even though the now looks black. It's like winter, which we are in in the Northern Hemisphere, right? Like the the trees are barren, the grasses are not there, it's muddy, it can be very gray, and yet we know spring comes. Spring comes, the grasses turn green, the flowers bloom, color comes forth again, right? And so it's remembering that to help pull you through into your vision. Sometimes we can get so stuck in reality, I, I always love like Abraham and Esther Hicks will be like, but Abraham, this is what is. And it's like, yeah, but you can't always get stuck in the isness. Yes, there's time for the isness, but this is about not getting stuck here. Taurus is very fixed. It can definitely get stuck. And so this energy is meant to jimmy some of the stuckness but it may feel a little uncomfortable and you may need a little transformation energy to move through it. Um, after that, the day softens a bit, which is also nice. The moon goes on to connect to Saturn, but that's not till later in the evening. Um, Saturn and Pisces, again, rem remembering there's a divine orchestrated, choreographed song and dance that is unfolding, that we are all characters and part of. And it's so important that we play our cards. It's so important that we show up in and on mission. And this is part of Venus finishing up in Capricorn, reminding us that our, our gifts, our talents, all is meant to like support ourselves and everybody else. 
literally every other being on this earth as we engage our truest selves. So that's really beautiful. Moon and Jupiter actually end the evening, which is again, kind of nice. Like, okay, you could find yourself feeling a little like grumpy if your Valentine's Day didn't go well, but you can feel kind of like very Taurus-y, very sensual, very, um, I don't know, engaged in the, the pleasures of, you know, Taurus energies, food, touch, smells, any of that. Regardless of how anybody else treats you today, I encourage you to treat yourself. I encourage you to smell something you like, to touch something you like, to eat something you like, to engage that pleasure, to remind you that the now isn't so bad as we look towards the future, to enjoy this now as we look towards what we're building in the future. So let's look at these cards. All right. I, I do see like this is a little bit of the morning versus evening. So here's the morning. Definitely some mental energies you may not want to get out of bed. The Taurus, moon and Taurus energy may be like, I'm not getting up. I'm just going to sit here. No thank you. Um, yeah, and it might just be some unhappy mental energies. But then, then we get into the spirit of possibilities. We remember the spirit of divine possibility, infinite possibility, that... So much good can happen. Wait, what is it? One of my favorite quotes used to be, in, in every breath, there is a universe of possibilities. In every moment, there is a universe of possibilities. And so that's kind of like where we shift to. Like, nah, not loving this now moment. But, but hey, good things, good things are afoot. And once we transform ourselves, we have the sharing card. We can be the lighthouse. We can be the light for somebody else. We can also be the light for ourselves. Where do we need to like shine on ourselves? Again, like nurture yourself, give yourself some lovely energies to remind us that while the now could improve, there's also beauty here to be experienced and lived. And you change the world in that. And I know that's a weird thing, but you do. You can change the world as you remember the beauty and the love and all of that energy and bring it forth. So I'm going to leave that here for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. And the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And remember who you are, for you are the solution. Namaste.